This is not just another golf podcast. This is Golf Underground. This is Golf Underground. We just happen to be the third funniest podcast in golf. We interview PGA Tour pros, Hall of Fame athletes, rock stars, business leaders. Sure, we talk about golf, but we have fun. All right, let's do it. Welcome to to Golf Underground. Underground. Now your hosts, Wardo, Sully, and MLB Hall of Famer, George Brett. Thanks for joining the Golf Underground. Now, the Golf Underground is brought to you by Star Companies, KC. Experience a more energy-efficient and comfortable home with Star's insulation services. Regain functional medicine. Feel better, function better, move better, and look better. Regal Distributing. Specializing in the distribution of food service and professional cleaning supplies to a variety of industries. Powell Insurance. Providing brokerage and risk management services for over 25 years. Sano Orthopedics, care plans backed by research and clinical results tailored perfectly to individual needs. Bobsite Ford and Bobsite Independence Kia, where you'll score a double eagle on your next car or truck. Sheridan's Unforked, eating good and feeling good. Lewisburg Ford, nobody sells more F-150s than Lewisburg Ford. And Celebrity Greens, put a custom PGA caliber putting green in your backyard for the ultimate golf experience. Now, onto the program. Hey, welcome to Golf Underground, ESPN, Kansas City here back in the stable. Now, a lot has changed since the uh, the last uh, program that we did, I believe. I don't think you were a father yet, Wardo, and so... I was not. So, um, life's changed for you. So, so I think it's important that we... we because it's a family show that we, we bring the listeners show. in. We bring mm-hmm. them in. They've seen your journey from yeah from um, best instructor in the Midwest in, in golf, <laughs> making little champions who are now on the web dot com <laughs> slash corn fairy tour. Um, we got talking it. Harry out of banging forty three women in Lawrence, <laughs> Kansas. You've changed a lot of lives, but now your life has changed too. Tell us all about it. Well, we had a, quite the adventure, a five night stay in the hospital, so that was interesting Ooh. to start. So I forgot where my car was parked. I left one time to go get a margarita across the street <laughs> oh, with no. my father in law. <laughs> Brought some back. Sneaky got canned after that. But um no, obviously pretty cool. Ended up having a C-section, the traditional way, was not working for her or us. And then, lucky for me, Kathy Gomer. Oh, she popped in. A she, fine was our, she was our doc. Dr. Gomer. You know, yes. Oh, no way. So she comes up to me and she goes, oh, I'm Dr. Gomer. And I go, hello. Hello. <laughs> I know you. She goes, oh, my God. She goes, oh, my gosh. And so, uh, yeah. No way. So I got a picture of uh, Kathy Gomer and little Bubs just after he was born. Why have we not posted this? On the, they're a sponsor of the radio. Well, well, By the way, that's Regain Functional Medicine. If you're having trouble with your testosterone levels and a blown out knee, our neighborhood at Lock Lloyd can help you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. So they were great. The staff was incredible. And um, yeah, here we are. So not sleeping much. I've never really slept that much in my life. Uh in this working world, but um, now somebody else is dictating my sleep. So sometimes Kevin gets a little crabby, but it's all worth it. All right. What's um, it, Kevin? What's the name of your your, your child? Uh, Grace and John. Grace and John. Yeah. All right. Have nice you already name. put a little uh, little workout uh, plan together for him? You know, what, what's your goal? Yeah, You're going to peer pressure this guy to become a PGA golfer. I mean, you've obviously thought through this when you're sitting by yourself and, and, <laughs> you, and, and We're turtles. We're going to let him do what he wants to do, but he's already a Such strong a- young lad and uh, <laughs> them legs are kicking and his arms are flailing and he's doing little... He was doing like a plank at the doctor's office today, so he's dialed already. That a boy. Strong lungs, I'm sure. <laughs> that, that a boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, so we are pumped today, my man and neighbor and great friend, Kevin Whitty, Dr. Kevin Whitty, Sano Orthopedics, certainly a great uh, sponsor of the, the Golf Underground, uh, came to join us. And this hit you a few months back. You were watching the very first New York Jets, J-E-T, Jets, 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 Jets game. And um, tell them what, what happened, Aaron Rodgers. Well, yeah, so Aaron went down, and we've just seen a couple of Achilles um, injuries over the last several years on, on TV, obviously, in big games. And then we, I think we all have the 
pickleball has become a, a, a big deal. Ew, look and at the face. Keeping, uh, keeping, me, keeping me busy. And, sure. <laughs> you know, CrossFit's kept a lot of these guys busy. Yeah. Now pickleball. And um, so I just thought, like, what an interesting topic to talk about. How do these middle-aged men that think they're more athletic than they really are help preserve and in injury prevention and the do's and don'ts of that. And so I thought this would be a great topic. Yeah. You reached out. So we saw witty. Let me tell you a little about uh, witty. Uh, one of the most impressive things is he, um, he did his fellowship with a guy who was pretty good with the Andrews um, with bad, you know, t- yeah, bad parts of the body. It's uh, Andrews who's, I mean, the guy's world renowned. And so you, when you study under the best, What's good for Kansas City is you got the best right here in town, right? You're just a younger version. Maybe your eyes are a little bit better. Maybe those hands aren't as shaky as Mr. Andrews, Dr. Andrews. So we got the we got all the smarts just with like the freaking body. You're at the, speaking of regain. Speaking of Sano, I I teach his partner, Matt Daggett. He's a hell of a Dr. player. Dr. Matt Daggett. Yeah, I mean, he is he is pretty he, damn good player, uh, swings at night. Another great surgeon. Pretty hard on himself. Great surgeon and uh yeah, so Awesome. Sano is growing. All right. Oh, All right. Yeah. Tell us about the business. Tell, tell the folks a little bit about you and, and what Sano Orthopedics uh, is. Sano Orthopedics. I think we're up to like 15 docs now, um, if I'm counting right. But uh, do orthopedics, sports medicine, uh, general orthopedics. We got total joint guys, shoulder, elbow guys. Spine surgeon, hand surgeon. So we've got, we've got it all. Wow. Um, got some pain management docs now. They're helping us out as well. Uh, but anything you need, orthopedic world and uh, definitely the sports world, uh, come check us out. Hopefully you don't need us, but we're happy to help you out and take care of you. Um, putting up a couple new offices, actually. We're uh, finishing a new office over off of uh, Nall and Leewood and then another um, office in Raymore. So we'll wow. have Lee Summit, Leewood, and Raymore. And then actually we have an outreach clinic in Paola and something soon in um, up by uh, by Weston. By, uh, yeah, up Damn. North. Daggett, so, Daggett tells me you're going to be in that building November 1st. This was two or three months ago. The <laughs> We are supposed to be moving there's, this weekend. N- there's no chance. Yeah, we're, it, I, <laughs> they swear to us that it's still going to happen. Hey, listen, the objective is to make him look good. I know. No, hey, but, hey, okay. You know but, what? But, dude, that's I, why I, these guys I, are I, good. You drive cutting. by it. I agree with you. You drive by that. and it's, You're like, okay, but we're the second floor. You look at the oh, ground yeah, floor, I guess and you're true. like, okay, we're the second floor. So second floor is a lot further along than the rest of it. I want to come check so, out this place. Come tell on us, in. Tell yeah. us about some of the amenities at the new uh, office. At um, it'll be a kind of a version of our Lee Summit office as well. So we'll have uh, physical therapy there. We'll have uh, obviously several clinic rooms, and eventually there'll be a surgery center there too. Um, nice. And we'll have our biomechanics. We'll have the Dari system there um, to evaluate patients. Awesome. So, what is that? That is Dari is a local company that does markerless uh, biomechanic evaluation, uh, um, looking at movement so we can do body screening and see how you're moving try to uh, pick up on injuries and weaknesses we can use it pre or post um injury or is surgery. it imagery what, mm-hmm. what is it yeah um it's, it's like it's like it's like an animated stick figure so you go in this room and then they ask you to do a series of movement patterns exercises you, like you'll walk you'll jump you'll go on a single leg rdl and you'll do a bunch of different moves and then they can kind of tell you where you might be limited or prone prone to injury, it's pretty cool. Just um, based on those stick figures, yeah. It basically, it just has cameras all yeah. throughout the room. And actually, uh, uh, American Sports Medicine is to AMSI the um, the Andrews group down that's still in Birmingham. They're doing a lot of research with it. Glenn Fleisig is their big research down there, and they've they've started using it, doing some research with it. And you can get um, so a lot of the data that they have comes from there. And we can compare that data to what we're gathering, and they share that data. And then you can uh, – something kind of funny is you can go in and get your physiologic age. You can go do all these movements, and they can tell you, well, you're actually, you know, physiologically this age. So yeah. that can either be very um, rewarding for you or very depressing. Well, I will tell you this uh, Voodoo Ranger Imperial <laughs> IPA that I just pulled out of uh, the staples. You know what? Hang on. Right now I'm 55. I'll be right with you. <laughs> I think that's compliments. My dad had a business meeting 57. in here. My dad had a meeting in here, and I think he brought those in here. So thanks, Big Ron. Thanks. thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Big Ron. So, so is something like that, is that more preventative or is it uh, treatment? Both. Both. We're trying to pick up on injuries before they happen if we can. So we'll get athletes in there, just general population too, and we'll screen them and look, you know, what does your gait look like? How your how your shoulders moving? How does it compare to the range of motion we traditionally should be seeing? Um the data that we have and you know so 
So if, uh, I had a bunch of throwers, a bunch of pat- pitchers um, go through it, and you could actually see their non-dominant side had a lot of weaknesses on several mm-hmm. players. And so just picking up on those things and, and what they can work on through physical therapy and, and body mechanics. It's all the, it's very similar to what we yeah. use. We just have, we, ours, there's, you wear like a vest and yeah. then your, there's, your body's an avatar. Yeah. So. Wordo's doing the same stuff. It's great. So same with golf too. the non-dominant side, you're not going to see as much. You're, you're going to see more limitation and weakness on the left side. If you're a right-handed golfer, just because you're training oftentimes more than one way. So we're training in both directions a lot. Yeah, that's smart. So you'd mentioned a uh, pickleball. Um, are, is it true that you have invested in uh, places like chicken pickle? <laughs> I um, know is, that's a rumor. Uh, I've not truly is, invested is, in it, but I've been encouraging the use of those places. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening to the right? Well, uh, I mean, the good news is, is it's giving people you know reason to be active. But my God, you got to be seeing, seeing Achilles. You got to be seeing oh. ACLs, MCLs. You you got to see knees, shoulders predominantly for the pickleball the occasional you know fall and wrist fracture you know ankle sprain but uh, a lot of knees and shoulders how do you Just, prevent it uh same way as preventing a lot of the stuff i mean talking about golf is you know um flexibility warming up cooling down stay honestly staying hydrated um and not just jumping into stuff just cold where your muscles aren't loose um and then throughout the year just being diligent about um trying to exercise being active working on balance, some of the stuff that you're picking up in biomechanics uh, evaluations. Um, Working on that balance and flexibility is the big key. I was just thinking that, right, Uh, how important balance is, and and probably a really horrible analogy. In fact, I'll I'll probably get laughed at as a result of this. (laughs) You will. Um, (laughs) It was... um, Please make us laugh. I believe it was... I was 48 years old, and um, I was getting some additional back fat... (laughs) <laughs> and Christmas rolled around, and the good news was uh, Leanne, who you're, you're uh, friends with. Your lovely wife. Yeah, um, she she uh, got a wee. Yeah, maybe it was even longer than this. You remember wee? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've so still got, got the one. wee where you got the white handles and oh, all yeah. this, right? Well, uh, um, she also got something called wee fit, which yep. was, you know, where, you, where you, you, you get on a we have, we have it. Looks like a little scale, right? Yeah. And I would go through this wee fit. And now, first of all, I'd put in all my dimensions, and, it, and like this kind of Asian voice would say, oh, you're obese, or something like that, right? Called me fat, which pissed me off and made me want to get up and get on a goddamn wee fit a little bit more. And, um, but balance, even, funny, even back then, they talked about, you know, how much weight you're putting on one foot versus the other. And and just that awareness of, my God, how, like, right dominant I was. So now, of course, at your levels, what you guys are both doing, you're doing it for golfers, you're doing it just to keep people healthy. Um, it made me just really aware. I work on that left leg more, right? Work mm-hmm. on that quad, strengthen it, you know? And, and so it's funny. It, it, it's, you know, even back then, it was a big deal. I think a lot of people don't realize, uh, specifically guys, is how much, you know, the leg, knee weakness and instability comes from, like, the whole hip and the whole leg. So your hip, your glutes, if they're weak, mm-hmm you know, contributes to your quads and your knee instability. So I think as we age balance wise, trying to um, maintain good balance, maintain good agility, you got to do those, all those fun exercises, uh, you know, in the gym, the adductors, abductors, the clamshells, you know, walking sideways, doing Mm -hmm, the crab walks mm -hmm. to work on glutes and your uh, adductors, abductors, your hips at the same time. And not just like quads and hamstrings. It's got to be the whole, the whole picture. Um, And I think guys particularly are bad about exercising that area and that's where we see balance issues, especially as we get into the older ages. Yeah. Well, and it, certainly back problems. I know this is... Absolutely. A, so so uh, how does that affect things? And I, I look at how many guys our age, my age, who are, whether it's sciatica, but they got the lower back. I mean, that... And it was wild. I had it. It was wild how I was feeling it through my groin, <laughs> and it would end up on my, my toes. I'm like, and this side is affecting this side. Like the whole thing is connected, yep. right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's, so that's so, just your low back. The nerves are firing, and you're getting compression on. But on where's the it starting, right? I Up mean, here. maybe not even the back. Maybe it's starting somewhere else. Maybe it's a tightness in one leg. Does that happen? It's, a pro- it's well, probably I mean, through the it, lumbar spine. The chicken or the egg. The 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 nerve problem is coming from your spine radiating down, but the 
it could have been a problem where you had tight hamstrings or tight, uh, you know. Well, that's for sure. Achilles in, you had an abnormal gait, and then your hamstrings become tight, and your low back becomes tight. And so it may not have started there, but if you're having that radiating pain, pain down your legs, that's most likely from your lumbar spine and either, you know, nerve impingement, a disc bulge. But sometimes sciatic-type uh, pain can also be a piriformis muscle, a muscle basically kind of in you in your butt that gets tight and it runs over the top of that sciatic nerves that's coming out. Mm -hmm. And if that muscle is tight, it can give you similar symptoms. And so piriformis syndrome is a lot of things that I diagnose and send to therapy for and, you know, getting that to stretch out. There's definitely stretches you can do for that. And you probably see that a decent amount of Mm -hmm. golf too. Tons. So what do you recommend, Wardo? Right. So, so to prevent that, because I mean, you've got a demographic here. You have to, listen, I walked into the stable and you got a bunch of young kids in there. So you got the, you do have the stable of young golfers, but you got a lot of guys my age who are coming well, here. We got guys that are sixties, seventies, well into their eighties, and the guys that have done a good job of taking care of their bodies, um, oftentimes are playing golf longer, obviously, and they're playing golf better. Um, and they're not, they're, the last thing they want is their, their wives do not want them in their house in the <laughs> house when they retire. I literally hear it you all the time. The <laughs> and so if you're, if you're hurt and you're miserable, if you're hurt and at home, your wife's miserable. So it's like, it's like all, it's just a revolving <laughs> hamster wait, wheel. Wait, 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 wait. Are you, is golf and, and the stables at a vehicle to get the hell away from wives? Is that what well, you No, the wives don't it? want to be around my members. And so <laughs> <laughs> they don't want them in the house. house. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I, there's so many, there's so many guys that are well into their sixties or seventies that we work with. And that I see they move, I'll put them up against the 30 year olds and they move fucking incredible. Yep. Um, and then you get the, the guys that are, the re, I call them the retail clients that come in and they want, <laughs> shiny objects and which is fine uh there's a time and a place for club fitting and all that but um these guys are hitting the ball hard and have speed and efficiency due to good biomechanics and movement period the end um so we're seeing a lot of that we see guys that what have ailing you know back pain time to time so that's just core strengthening and just education centered around that we see a little bit of the golfer's elbow, which yeah. there's been some really cool treatment options around that. Um, some of, some of the PT groups they'll do some dry needling and um, working through the working through the site there. So there's just so much with technology right now and injury prevention. I mean, we're taking it as far as doing cold plunges and infrared saunas. Right. Like right now, I got in with new baby. I haven't gotten in the cold plunge much, but I got in this morning and it just. For me, it changes my day. Same thing. I've got an infrared sauna and a cold plunge in the basement. Yep. You do? Yep. You got yep. them both? Yep. You don't even go over to his house. Yep. I go over his, his house invited when he's time. having no, bourbon no, no, tastings. Just, All right. Uh-huh. He's, very, he's uh-huh. pretty good about it. Well, I haven't been do. to Sully's Pub for a while either. Well, it's the holidays are right around the corner uh-huh. there, old Doc. House waiting. looks good, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. He's dialed. I, I, yeah, I painted the house white, red brick colonial. It's all white. Oh, I like it. Looks it. like the yeah, it looks like the White House. I think Darian did that to Jordo's house. He did. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I'm trying to make my life cleaner. I like it. You know, it look nice. You know, I'm just like you, you know what I mean. Just like clean. Sure. Now yeah, like pure. Leanne, like it should represent who I am. Now you like and a Leanne virgin. Just need to fire a white rock out front, and you'll be you'll be oh, dialed. No. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's just let's take a, a commercial break. When we come back, I want you to give specific things that the listener can do. I mean, we're heading into, I mean, we look outside, it's rainy, it's right. horrible. We're getting, and you need things to do, whether it's you're going to your own health club, you're coming to the stable, or you're down in your basement with a couple free weights and a chair. You got to do something right now. We're with Kevin Witte, Sano Orthopedics. We're going to make you healthy. Come on back and listen to Golf Underground in the stable. Guys, as the male body ages, testosterone levels steadily decline, and your bodies become increasingly unable to produce healthy levels of the primary male hormone testosterone. At Regain Functional Medicine, we can help you regain your quality of life with testosterone replacement therapy. TRT improves brain function, sleep cycles, heart health, performance, and overall body composition so you can feel better, function better, move better, and look better. Visit us today at ifeelmuchbetter.com. Regain Functional Medicine with locations in Lawrence and Leewood. Regain is better. Hey, Brian Sullivan here, and I've got a tip for you. You've got to head to Unforked. It's an amazing restaurant. What I like about these guys is they promise to buy and support seasonal local ingredients first. And I love the fact that they source from smaller, family, GAP-certified, or organic farms 
Prime Going Regions, artists and producers, all I'm getting at is, if you like fresh stuff, Unforked is the place to be. And like they say, fork or no fork, you can be sure you're getting the highest quality, socially responsible ingredients possible. And not to mention, it's delicious. So whether you're out south or downtown, stop by Unforked for a delicious and healthy meal. Sheridan's Unforked, honest, clean food. Cowell Insurance Services is your leading program administrator for workers' compensation. They're dedicated to meeting the unique challenges of the insurance industry and assisting employers in reducing their costs. CIS has provided insurance, claim, and loss control services to various industries, including trucking, construction, retail convenience stores, and healthcare, as well as public entities for over 30 years. They work with both retail agents and industry clients, or a combination of the two. If you're tired of fighting the rising costs of premiums and claims, give Cowell Insurance Services a call. Their dedicated staff is ready to find you the best insurance option at the most competitive price. They can help to define or enhance your safety program in order to move you in the right direction in reducing your claim and premium costs. Contact Cowell Insurance Services today, 816-214-4070. Hey, Brian Sullivan from the Golf Underground here with a little good news. And that good news is that even double-digit handicappers like me can occasionally make a double eagle. All right, maybe not on a golf course, but even guys like me can score when buying a new car or truck. I'm talking about two stores, two brothers, and four generations treating customers just like family. I'm talking about our buddies at Bob Sight Ford and Bob Sight Independence Kia. With these guys, you'll always score two under with double the inventory and double the customer satisfaction. Satisfaction. That's the Bob Sight Double Eagle. Now, Bob Sight offers a wide selection of vehicles and promise to make the car buying process as quick and as hassle free as possible. Now, whether you have poor credit, no credit, or maybe a first time car buyer, you can trust Bob Sight Ford. And Bob Sight Independence Kia will get you into the car or truck you choose with professionalism and attention to your needs. So go visit our buddies at bobsight.com but only if you're looking for a vehicle that makes you feel like a U.S. Open champion. He's a beauty. All right, welcome back. Golf Underground back in the stable. We got new uh, Papa, Kevin Ward. He's got the new kid. We're so blessed and we're on. My eyes glazed over. (laughs) Got some bags under him a little bit. You never show weakness. You've never shown weakness. That's not part of the stable brand. Stable brand makes champions. (laughs) Right? Yeah, champion uh, diaper changers, champion uh, burp. Guys, and yeah, we're, we got Listen, it. I'm wondering if, you know, because you you believe in processes and repeatability. Mm-hmm. This is what you coach, right? Mm-hmm. Right? It's hard work with process. That's how you become a champion. Have you found a process in waking up in the morning and um, maybe changing diapers and adding some value to the household? No, I'm more of like a 2 a.m. diaper change and then maybe a little 5 a.m. diaper change guy, and then I'm out the door. <laughs> And then she's on it. So, no, I've done, I've done, we've tried to get them into a routine, but it's hard. I mean, the little fellas. uh, Have you read the book, Baby Wise? No, but somebody asked me that today. So I think I need to get it or read it. Hey, Woody, did you you ever read the Baby Wise book? I didn't, but I, I know my wife did. You know, give all the credit to my wife. Oh, you were like. Routine. Routine. Yeah. Find a routine and stick with the routine. I'm more of a learn on the <laughs> give that credit. To I'm my more wife. of a learn on the fly guy. Um, and so I see. I need. I like a cookbook other than golf. You, you know, like, you know, during a week, I like so things very actually, processed and repeatable. But actually, on one thing I'll throw in on the golf <laughs> analogy is we're in the hospital for five days. We've got nurses coming in and out. You know, shift changes, all the shit. We got docs. We got, and we're getting advice from. It's like getting twenty golf lessons. From 20 different people <laughs> in five days and then going home and going, well, what the, f- what the fuck do I, do I do this? Do I do that? Or I do that. And then, so true. And then we have this um, lactation gal come over for three hours and she says everything, fuck that. And she's like, do this, this, and this. <laughs> so I'm going with the most recent. Yeah. And she's done. Yeah. And so your parenting has ended up like Charles Barkley's golf swing. More or less. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> right? too, too, too many instructors so, so turned you into a shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, until I see you with one of those male breastfeeders, I'm not talking, okay? Yeah. You know, I think you should probably lactate, help the kid. Yeah, he's he's dialed. You know? Like, well, he tries, to, he tries to bite and get, get a little action there. It's just, I mean... There's no no milk coming out. What, what was that? Meet the Falkers? Isn't that? <laughs> that, was, that was Meet the Falkers. <laughs> well, the problem is your your kid's going to end up having hair between his teeth, you know, because I've seen your nipples. They're, they're disgusting. <laughs> this, is getting, <laughs> this is getting gross. 
<laughs> anyway, we're with Dr. Kevin Witte from, from Sano Orthopedics. All right, so before the break, we talked about um, a very specific uh, things that someone like me should be thinking of. We've got, to, you know, we've got the strategy. The strategy is... Mentally, you got to get your mind right to, to start working out. You got to stay, which would include flexibility, strength right. training, being aware of uh, which part of the bodies are weak and which, which aren't. You got to be active. Let's all agree with this. But what are some simple things for the guy or gal who might just be home? And how long, at very minimum, is 15 minutes enough? And if it's 15 minutes, um, and I'm doing X number of stretches. I'm doing like, what's the template? Cause I'm, you know, this is what I do for a living. I teach salespeople how to be repeatable. What's the template for someone who says, I don't have time to keep my body healthy. Well, I'd start with saying, even if they have only got 10 minutes, do that 10 minutes. A lot of people I think say, oh, I've only got 10 minutes to do something and it's not worth it. It is. Even if it's only 10 minutes, if that's all you got in the morning, spend 10 minutes, do something. Um, I'll tell you, especially the off season through the winter, it gets dry. I think one of the more important things is staying hydrated. Like get up in the morning instead of the first thing you drink is your coffee or whatever. Drink a couple cups of water. Start there. You know, staying hydrated will, will increase your flexibility, helps, you know, bring oxygen to all your cells. Um, so that's one of the things. Stay hydrated. Um, if you've only got 10 minutes, spend your 10 minutes stretching. You know, if you don't, if you don't have time to get to the gym, you don't want to go to the gym, you don't have gym membership, um, you want to do something at your house, especially for golf or almost anything, down, download something or, or look up a, flexi a flexibility routine, a stretching routine that you can stick to. Which is on YouTube, my God. Right, right. Put you, in can find 15 it. you can find it. 15-minute YouTube. Yeah. Or go right? to golfstable.com and we've got ah! a library in the back. Get, hours of content. Get the hell yeah, out. See? Hours of content. Why would I didn't you even mean to, to set that up? I mean, that was perfect. But no, <laughs> See, that was, um, I, we no, I, I mean, that. spend time stretching. If that's the only thing you have time for, that will you know you'll reap the benefits for that. You know, next season when you're warm up, you're doing more stuff outside. Otherwise, um, you know, course core stability stuff, whether it's standing up and doing core stability, working on balance, one legged stuff. Um, Sully, stand up real quick. Oh, I'm getting analyzed here. Stand oh. up. I am standing raise up. Your right, That's a short joke. Raise your <laughs> raise your right knee up in the air. Is it? Right, Clo right. Close your eyes. Hey, pretty good. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Well, I tend to have vertigo too. Now oh, I'll okay. go to the other side. This is so back to the asymmetry should, thing. Hang on. Yeah, well, grab the should, chair. Grab the this chair. Be my better one. I do have a, a vertigo. Yeah. There since, you go. Since COVID, so no you're, lie, I you're, have vertigo. Your left leg has a little better stability based which, off that brief test we just did. Which is weird which because is it's my... Is it? When the right side's my strength? Yeah, usually a righty traditionally, like, because you're going to be a... Most righties are left-footed jumpers. Like, yeah. Think, yep. think hoops. Think of doing a layup, yeah. You should. Um, are you a left-footed jumper? Well, you're supposed to do the layup with the left... You know, but it, I really haven't played basketball in 43 years. <laughs> so, most, so, people I, most people I screen don't talk about you know Achilles what? I'll injuries. send you a video of me and the Wii Fit. It'll tell you, give you everything you, you, you need to know. I do have a quick question because you yeah. talked about even if it's hydrating and getting water in the morning. Um, so athletic greens is a big thing right now, okay? And I, and I really want your take on this, right? So Leanne, uh, like, swears by this, right? Where I'm putting some green stuff in my body. It's It's really, of course, Joe Rogan really pumps it. And she says, I haven't been sick in a year and a half. I, what's your take on that stuff? You know, I do believe in the antioxidants. I do believe in vitamins. Now, the old vitamins that we've grown up with aren't necessarily the most absorbable in the body, so I think a lot of them are useless. I think a powder drinkable form, which is I think the Athletic Greens is, is um, more bioavailable to your body, and so you absorb it better. Um, you know, it's usually, I think it's got a probiotic in there. It's got a bunch of anti antioxidants and then you're just your general vitamins, your D and E, um, and then all your B vitamins. And I think a lot of us are deficient in vitamin D. We're not out in the sun, especially here in the Midwest mm -hmm. during the winter. Mm -hmm. um, so I think getting all those vitamins are important. Uh, the, the mechanism for getting that, I think, is, again, the important part of what kind of availability the, whether it's a pill or the powder has. Uh, but I do. I mean, I like those type of products. I do. I think they have their value. Plus, 
for those, it's also forcing you to, to drink something. So again, you're adding some of the hydration. That's what I was it. wondering, right? When you said hydration, yeah. <clears throat> um, you know, I'm trying to do more of it. And you take the little scoop and you, yeah. you feel healthier, whether it's working or not. You know, you yeah. feel like you're doing something. It's, it's put things in your life that feel like you're trying to do something good. I think there's a weird psychology to that, too. Oh, I mean, I, you're kind of getting into the placebo effect, and absolutely. I mean, we know for a fact that even if the mind is very powerful, and if you convince your mind that you're doing something and, and it's positive, then things happen. Yeah. Yeah. What's your take on it? I'm a big, obviously, the nutrition thing, I think it's personal for what you're trying to accomplish throughout what your body and body types, and I think, People, the way they digest different types of foods is a big deal. But, I mean, all in on the nutrition, I think people in this world, we eat too late oftentimes. We drink too much. We eat larger portions. You go to other countries and their portions are just way smaller. Um, they're more tapas and snacking. Um, the, the small plates, yeah. Yeah, small plates. And so, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm all in on it. I think it's a big deal. I think... Testing, you know, we, I like to test body comp and work through that um, with myself and some of our clients. So, again, a lot of our clients aren't coming to us with weight loss or decreasing body fat, but it's kind of the byproduct, I think, of, you know, the holistic model that we have. So I, kn I know you hate people who don't commit. You don't hate them as people. That's strong. But you, you hate lack of commitment. And, you, you know, you called them looking for the shiny object. And I think it was actually as you looked at me, I sensed <laughs> who you were talking to. Okay. And I, so I think it's important for the listener to know that no. I feel the same way that right? he's looking at you and me. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now, remember when you used to, remember when you used to uh, lie, uh, rec Get on to our live recording. Six thirty in the morning from the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, it would be. I'd be like, <laughs> turtle. Look, Sully's on. <laughs> and I'd be like, good. Did you work out today, Sully? He goes, no, I was taking. No, it <laughs> I'd be on that shitter. To bloop, Facebook would pop up. All right, turtles is doing Sarah, the show from is there. She's doing well. It's he, they had the whole thing live streamed. Let's start working on. It. I'm like, I got on the shitter. I can't do this. <laughs> Right, so I did some deep breathing exercises instead. That's so good, so and it all worked out. Worked out great. I'm still alive, right? Well, I, no, I, I think. I'm, I'm, like, why am I not surprised at that story? The commitment thing. It's not. I don't. I don't. It's just I can sniff it from a million miles away on what the person, what type of client they are gonna be within the first five minutes of a conversation. Then you need, in my opinion, to honestly push. A little bit more of this video, right? Mm -hmm. Because you have your committers, your A players. Mm -hmm. You certainly got your B players who pop in and pop out. But you know, it. it I think from a health standpoint, listen. He, we we joked at the at the break here, right? If the ultimate objective of being a physician is to improve outcomes, right? Improve Absolutely. the health, <clears throat> and you're you're there when the outcomes aren't so good, right? Right. Thank, thank God you exist. Right, but if we can if if we can do the right thing on the upfront, that that would be great. I think the bigger market for everything is online. It, it, well, in time, there's not a person who doesn't walk. Actually, now the ones who walk in here have already made a decision in their brain that they're yeah, going to allocate. They're going to do. It. But it, there's so much of the population who has not made that decision yet. But again, even if it starts with 15 minutes, 20, it work up to 20. Work up to a half hour, right? To me, if we can help all of that, th mm -hmm. those folks. I think, too, some of it's, you know, you, you can really do this <clears throat> golf fitness in one of three ways, right? You can do it in a one-on-one -on -one setting, which is great. Uh, you and the trainer or you and the golf fitness professional. You can do it in a um, group setting. Or some people don't want to be around and want to do it on their own. Right. Um, and want to be in the comfort of their own home which is me honestly i'm i'm that guy like i don't want to go to the health club and chat with phyllis and frankie and talk about the well, weekend but, and but you I know being able to do that on their own with all the online stuff or the, you know the, the tutorials right. is great it's great you know, i think it's um you know same thing with like physical therapy you know no matter what i do surgically or non-surgically you know if the patients aren't following up correctly and doing the physical therapy or doing their home exercises, the outcome's probably not going to be as good. Same. Yeah. Um, I think it's interesting through COVID that 
we developed more of the telemedicine yep. ability. Right, right. So, you know, we do that. You know, it's hard to get a true physical evaluation, but, you know, with all the technology now, they can show us online, you know, how, how are they moving, what are they doing. Therapists are doing that as well. And so mm-hmm. I think for the same reason, people who don't necessarily want to get out or they're afraid or intimidated by going someplace, you know, having the technology to be able to do stuff like that is amazing. Yeah, I think we kind of, during COVID, we did so much of that. And then... It's not like we missed. It's just I don't know. I I, I love the one on one or the right. um, the group the group setting and the camaraderie. But I think that there's definitely if you're going to touch more people and people want to do a 10, 15, 20 minute um, quick quick heater, they can get it done from the <laughs> hotel room, uh, comfort of their own home, whatever. Yeah. So. Yep. All right. Let's let's take one commercial break because uh, Woody's got to go take Eli. To uh, Shields. Yes, happy early hey, birthday, buddy. Hey, he's not listening right now. Like, what are you thinking of getting him? <laughs> well, I mean, he'll probably listen to this at some point. Well, mean, right what now. do you think he's going to, which well, aisle is he taking you to? We got him one of these little, um, see, the neighbors have these little uh, scooters you sit on that are kind of powered. Um, <laughs> I forget what they're actually called, but he, he saw one of the neighbors had one of those. He really loves that. And so he's going to have this little thing that zips around our driveway. And yeah. Do you think um, that's something he can drive down next to a swamp slash pond and go gigging <laughs> in the fall? Because so, Witty, let me tell you, introduced me for my uh, July Fourth birthday many years ago. My present from Witty was like this six foot stabbing apparatus where you're supposed Absolutely. to stab bullfrogs, and they call it gigging. So Witty took me Amazing. gigging for bullfrogs late night. His dad is a famous gigger Absolutely. out at Creekmore. <laughs> That's so right. amazing. Hey, where did I learn it from? So, I mean, hey, I, I might be city boy now, but that's not where I grew up. So, yeah, I had to City boy? Him. You live in freaking Cass County. <laughs> well, this is true. This is true. But that, that's city to where I grew up. So, I mean, you know, my little town of 3,000, yeah, we, we gigged and did yeah. everything. So. And I was amazing. the only one, and I had that little, and I'm like, hi, I gotta, I'm from Connecticut, for Christ's sakes. I'm a Kennedy Democrat. <laughs> right? you, I can't just stab a bullfrog with that little. It looked like a like a you little know, you pitchfork. See in the Disney yeah, movies, it was a pitchfork. It's a trident. Like you got to stab them and scoop them yeah. up and throw them in a bag, and then you're yeah. supposed to cook them up. I don't know. I think it's a little satanic. <laughs> Frog legs are pretty tasty, though. It is. It Rich is delicacy. Amazing. Right. When we come back, we're going to ask a few final questions, and then I, are you prepared in any way? To give I got the Whitty. rapid fire, of course. He's got the rapid fire. All right, we're with Kevin Witty. By the way, if, if you happen to injure yourself, we're, we're trying to prevent this. Sano Orthopedics. At very least, you're going to make a great friend with he and his 78 <laughs> new employees. <laughs> Culture matters, but fixing you is even more important. Come on back here on the Golf Underground in the stable. Hey, Brian Sullivan of Golf Underground with my favorite orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Kevin Witte from Sano Orthopedics. Hey, Doc, golf season's over. My back is killing me. I know it's football season, so you get a lot of kids coming in, blown ACLs, all sorts of body parts with problems. And then, of course, those baseball players. I know you fix a lot of elbows. Why is Sano Orthopedics the absolute best sports medicine orthopedic group in Kansas City? Well, if you want to see the guys in town who have had the best orthopedic fellowship training in sports medicine, um, including training with Dr. James Andrews and Dr. Larry Lemack, come see us. Uh, we individualize patients' uh, plans to get them back to that activity and that sport that they love. And we actually care and listen to our patients and follow up with them make sure that they're getting the results they need okay and so the three things that separate you number one best training number two you specialize in getting people on that field number three you're actually listen where can i learn more because you got me all in and i don't really want to get fixed but it's time at sonoorthopedics.com 816-525-2840 hi this is george brett hall of fame baseball player and i've been playing golf for over 35 years Hitting the ball far was never my problem, but the closer I got to the greens, that's when my problems began. When I wanted a golf practice area in my backyard, I called Celebrity Greens. They are the industry leader in custom-built synthetic golf greens. These championship caliber, low-maintenance greens roll great, react like real bent grass, and hold chip shots that check and spin. I absolutely love mine, not only in Kansas City, but also in Arizona. Call the pros at Celebrity Greens at 1-888-507-7960 or visit them online at CelebrityGreens.com. Practice like the pros or people like me that want to be pros right in your own backyard.
Hey, Brian Sullivan, Golf Underground, with a little tip for you. If you're looking to buy a new Ford, you have to check out my buddy, Jason Gudenkoff at Lewisburg Ford. They've been saving Midwest Ford buyers thousands of bucks for over 40 years because they do business the right way. They sell everything. Check this out for $50 over invoice. That's simple and cheap. And they win a lot of awards. In fact, they won Ford's President's Award 17 times. That's the top Ford award. And they only give it to dealers with superior customer satisfaction in sales and service. So they know how to take care of customers better than anybody. Now, what these guys know how to do also, keep this in mind, sell trucks. Lewisburg Ford has sold more F-150s than any other Ford dealership in greater Kansas City. That's two years running. And last year, they were the number one F-150 sales leader in the entire state of Kansas. So, no hassle. $50 over invoice pricing, unparalleled customer satisfaction, and a huge selection. That's a perfect recipe for selling trucks. So, check out all their inventory and prices online at lewisburgford.com. Or give them a call at 816-444-2300. New golf clubs. A big screen TV to watch the U.S. Open? Or maybe even a new golf cart that I've got my eye on? No matter how you choose to spend the savings, if you're looking to put a dent in your monthly heating and cooling bills, the answer may be right over your head. If your attic isn't insulated properly, you're missing out on a prime opportunity to cut costs. Call the certified energy experts at Star Companies, Inc., 816-353-2160 for a free estimate to learn how they can help you save money. 816-353-2160 or visit StarCompaniesKC.com. Welcome back. Golf Underground in the stable. All right, we're having a nice chat in, um, here at the break. You know, we fight a lot here. <laughs> we don't he just fight. Told us to shut well, up. I mean, it's just, I mean, it gets a little weird. No, because he always weird. wants to bring it to the content. Uh, well, it gets a little weird, you know? All right, and so um, at the break, uh, Woody and, and Wardo and myself, we're talking about these new places that exist where uh, they'll go stretch you for you because you're too goddamn lazy to stretch yourself. <laughs> and I think my take is... What's wrong with both? You tell me. What's wrong with you doing can do both? both? I think you can do both. You can have some <laughs> Czechoslovakian, you know, gal smokes. Hey, yeah, you a little. You're right, helping the hammies, and yeah. then and then you and then you actually do it yourself because but, uh, our man, get it, come, here, come here, come on in that camera, come here. Come here, here. Come in. Come in. Because you, 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 you start. Right, a former uh, <laughs> University of Michigan. What was your What was your um, um, Position, offensive guard. Offensive guard. Now listen. Well, who, guards all sp- aren't supposed to be flexible, anyways. Well, I'm not flexible. So the ones these days are. Right. <laughs> all right, yeah, tell the folks your name. Ante Scorput. I mean, has there ever been a sexier name <laughs> than Ante Scorput? <laughs> That's Jesus. impressive. I mean, especially for a golf program, Scorput. Damn. I should have name. named my kids Scorput. All right, all right. <laughs> so you say you've been go- you've been going to one of these places, and and you said there's there's. A- okay, tell me why. Uh, listen, it does what I can do, but it does it for me. And if I do it myself, I'm not going to do it as well. You're never going to get a stretch on your own that you would with somebody else pulling it for you. I, right? I will agree with that, but I will go back to Wardo's point that uh, I think there needs to be some education along with that so that you can do a lot of stuff on your own. There needs to be some homework done. But for the people who are tight already, like yourself, you were demonstrating. Um, <laughs> to, I, I to, barely uh, uh, he can barely take <laughs> his hands kind of get past his knees, maybe. Um, I bend my knees uh, up yeah. <laughs> but but to get you to a point where you're a lot more flexible, help you get way past where you are right now. But then to maintain, you need to be able to do a lot of that stuff and have that education on your own. So I don't yeah. mind these places at all. I think they're I, great. I think they're great. The other thing too is Mr. Scoreput over here is well off financially where there's a lot of folks that may not be able to afford that. Right. I, don't, I don't know I'm, what the I'm sessions a, are, I'm but a Canadian immigrant here. I like it. So I'm making it's a tough time trying to make it. How'd you get over the wall? There is no wall. I, I <laughs> that's the problem with you. I, mean, I paid. I paid an attorney. I went to school here. I, I did it the right way. And you got a I'm great American, education. I mean, that's a hell of a school. Hey, well, he, no, I think it's all. I think it's Amanda? good. I think it. Anything's better than nothing. I'm just. I just think the education and the um, figure it out on how to do it, so that if somebody or if you can't afford to go or you don't have the time to go and you want to do a 10, 15 minute back to your point session at home that you're able to do that. And he's, he's right. I think when somebody opens you up, you feel 
freaking amazing. And it's still like, yeah. right when you do the hamstring, right? They get your hamstring back there, then they go, press, okay, yep. press back down. Then you just get a little bit more yeah, flexible. Muscle energy, and, flexible, yeah. Well, and, and uh, my sense is it's also about um, your expectation. And I liken it to when I blew my ACL in, in Chicago. Um, uh, when you go to PT you and they... I had uh, that was long before I was ready to take no, care No, I went to Sted. Well, Stedman you recommended to me to... Uh, well, he was the first guy who saw my ACL <clears throat> in Vail. And he said, all right, go to my two... But I got buddies at University of Chicago, buddies in Northwestern. Go meet with them. And I sat down with them. I said, how long is it going to take for me to get my ACL? Because I, I want to play lacrosse. And they said, well, it's going to be a year. Then I went to this guy uh, down in... Um, he was off of Cicero. He was south side. <laughs> He was a do. He had a he had a cigar this big, and he's like, "I'll get you back in six months." He smoked <laughs> I love that it. cigar. He said, "What? Well, I just went to Northwestern in Chicago. How are you going to give me back six months?" He said, "Trust me." And he took that cigar. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. I swear. He's banging on the cigar. I swear. In the banging office? on a cigar in, in his Africa office. He said, "I will have you on that oh. field in six months." He said. But here's what's going to happen. It's going to be people are going to say, "What the hell is he doing?" Because I'm going to, I'm going to take your hamstring. I'm going to wrap it in this Dacron material. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to put you in a cast for one month. And everyone's going to say, including your PT, "You're nuts. This guy's nuts. He's a quack." So I'm warning you: if you're not open to the criticism that will come, then do not go with me. <laughs> Did said, you go? I like him? your energy. <laughs> <laughs> And it, worked. Ah, and it worked. And he put, later, he, he, put the, he put that damn thing. He put six months or six months. <laughs> they had to amputate a week later. No, I'm kidding. Kidding. So, I'm and he put that damn thing in, and which is is really interesting to me about orthopedics. Maybe it's it's a a little tighter, in meaning there's right. there's more best practices. But that seemed like a very best practice. It will be a year for an ACL. You will get flexibility coming right, right out of surgery to prevent scar right. tissue. His was, what was your pain? What is your pain tolerance? Because what will develop, it will wrap everything up. If you're telling me your puss, do not do this. Because when you go to PT, what you will feel will be the worst pain of your you're life. You're going to break through okay. that scar tissue. And as it relates back to it, what we're saying is the awareness of what you can handle in how far you can go, right? That one percent, that one degree, right? That two degree, and yeah, you get to fifteen degree. Without surgery, you also feel it. Like you and I, I'm the same as you. But if I had someone saying, "Sully, you're only at this. Go home get, and get yourself to this, and when you come back, you might be three yeah. degrees." But some I think homework. there's an upside to some it. homework. Yeah, absolutely. And somebody you got to be accountable to. Absolutely. Back to the quick recovery because I think this was pretty hey, come cool. On, he's got to go to Eli. I, I, I know you got to go. I'm gonna so go. real quick, the Aaron Rodgers when I think he's on the field walking already post surgery yep. for his Achilles. Like, is that realistic? Like, what did this doctor? What did this voodoo doctor do? Or is this <laughs> is just just not normal? Well, I'm pretty sure it's Dr. Elitrash out at uh, Kerlin Job in California. Okay. He's the same guy that did um, Tom Brady's ACL back in the day too. I mean, he's a Hollywood, he's sports doc, he's Hollywood, you know, doc to the stars out there. So I'm sure he did a great job. He um, he did a speed bridge, which is a um, type of repair by a certain company. Um, and, you know, minimally invasive, went in there, you have anchors, almost like you're fixing a rotator cuff with these big suture tapes. So it's pretty strong. Um, and we know that getting out there weight bearing early with uh, Achilles injuries and repairs actually is key. You just got to limit the motion so they can put weight on it. They just can't stretch Flex it and do that, extent. that, you know, yeah. dorsiflexion. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't, I think it's pushing it for him to be back this year. Is it possible? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I think it's pushing it. Yeah. Um, you know, I think I mean, that'd be a, Four month recovery. Right, right. You know, and that's that's unrealistic. So, um, so the fact he it's it's good that he's walking on it, putting yeah. pressure, but yeah. it just not. You're gonna have to live, but yeah, yeah. And I think this week he talked about having a rough week in in rehab. So I mean, you're gonna have your ups and downs and two steps forward, step back, Got typical it. stuff. He got that special hooch down in South America when he was in the jungle. He's fine. Oh, and he did the four days in the dark room yeah. or something. Yeah, I mean, yes, yeah. he's yeah. fine. Yeah. 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 You can't Maybe that's part of it. He's yeah. got that's got to be part of the stable. You got to give some of that kooky hooch. Got dragon blood. <laughs> yeah, he's got yeah. the dragon right. blood. So. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> Final. We're gonna let Woody go. He's, he's got to be a good dad right now. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do. 
We're going to do the emergency part. three. Emergency, emergency three. Okay. Emergency okay. three okay. holes. Yep. Okay. All right. The favorite, your favorite surgery. You, you wake up in the morning and you're excited to do this surgery. Ulnar collateral ligament reconstruction. Tommy John surgery. Love it. Ooh. The common thing you see amongst the patient population, the, if they could do one thing, it would be this. What? Stay active and Stay stretch. Active, move, feet yeah, on floor. Just move. Just keep moving. Love it. Um, in your spare time, if you weren't going to do, what was that hobby? Uh, uh, gigging. Gigging. <laughs> if you were going to do gigging, <laughs> when you retire, what hobby are you going to pick up? Oh, it's something I do already, but, uh, you know, probably more fly fishing. Maybe I'll be a fly fishing instructor or guide. I like that. You'd look good with the with the yeah. hat and the boots. Oh, and the shirt. It's who he is, by the way. He's an outdoors guy. By the he way. He comes in, he says all this golf stuff. He's like, eh, I'm out. <laughs> he's like, this is kind of cool, but I, I, yeah. I'm out. I mean, the orthopedic guys, you know, they typically have the reputation to be the cool guys anyway. You know, they were the cool guys back in school. Yeah, you know? but I mean. They're like freaking construction guys, you know. Well, yeah, we're the carpenters construction guys, yeah. you know, the. The old saying is, you know, you know, orthopedics is uh, strong as an ox and twice as smart or <laughs> or, 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 or the knuckle draggers. That, yeah. or. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, listen, if um, here we are, all of us um, underground listeners, let's keep the bodies right. And when you screw up and I know you will go to Sano Orthopedics, I'll He's tell you the what, man. they're the. There's no, I'm telling you, let's be honest. I, I'm not. I'm not bullshitting you. There's no one better than these guys, and it keeps growing. And the reason it, it's growing is because you know the formula of this is how we do things. Here's our culture. Here's our cookbook. You get the greatest surgeons in the Midwest and beyond. So um, th- don't look anywhere else. Right? It's very simple. I appreciate it. We try to get a good culture, and like I said, prevention is key. One of the big things to us, but. If we need to fix you, we'll fix you. All right. And so uh, maybe we'll have a cocktail. Um, not tonight, but right. you know, sometime over the weekend. Soon. <laughs> All right, Whitty, big Thanks, toast. Guys, I appreciate Kev, it. Kevin Whitty. Thank you, Shout guys. Out to me. Thanks, hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. There we go. Doc. hey we'll, um, Take care. We had a nice fun. Keep yourself healthy. We're going to have a lot of great guests. If Wardo starts getting off his ass, he's only got a kid, but he's got to start finding <laughs> us some additional guests. Hope you had a blast. Golf Underground, back from the stable. Woo!